everybody. Welcome to Kush and Kai. I'm Kai. I'm Kush. What's good, y'all? Woo! We got some news. I want to hear about some Snyder Cut shit. Kush, what's good? Dude, on this 99th microdose, the the, the penultimate microdose. Penult- Kush and Kai, penultimatum. Woo! Something happened this weekend. I don't know when we're releasing this, but Ooh. when we recorded this, Kai, something happened this weekend. And like... Did it. It shouldn't it should never have happened. It wasn't supposed to happen, but it, but it's it's in a line of other things that wasn't supposed to happen this year, and it happened anyways. All those I, ghosts I am, are coming out of the closet, Kush. They're coming for you when you <laughs> swore on the mountaintop. You proclaimed that these would not happen. They're happening. This, this is unprecedented. The the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League came out this weekend, and I just it's. I watched it just out of curiosity, just because it, it's it's it wasn't a thing, and now it is a thing. And because it was such a thing, like might as well like you you got to have an opinion about it. Like it's we're it's it's not even a it's a whole other thing now, man. It's so so I haven't seen it. So for the rest of us here, could you clarify? He went in and cleaned it up, right, and tightened it down to right like a nice tight ninety two minutes, correct? <laughs> oh quite the opposite quite. oh no i mean it, it was a big it was a big movie to begin with it was a big movie to begin with you got five excuse me six sub, uh, main characters all all trying to mingle with each other um whole pantheon yeah, there. Yeah, yeah let's not get into the plot there there are plenty of podcasts and youtube videos talking about the plot and this and that and the other i, I, I want to talk Look, man, we the, the subject of remakes come up all the time. Mm-hmm. And like, oh yeah, don't remake Back to the Future. Yeah, you know, like, and other people are like you should remake the bad movies. And we've talked specifically about that. <laughs> the Justice League that came out in 2017, it wasn't a good movie. All right, but but mm-hmm. when you compared it to like a Batman versus Superman, it was perfectly fine compared to that. In fact, many people compared it to like. Oh, this reminds me of watching uh, the the Super Friends on a Saturday morning. Like, it's <laughs> the plot doesn't make sense at all, but all the colors are boosted, and there are jokes in specific spots. And despite the fact that Warner Brothers tried to make this as far from a Marvel movie, they ended up just making it a Marvel movie. And so people Indeed. were just like, I didn't know what the hell was happening, but eh, I, you know what, that was entertaining. Okay, you know, strong C plus. Um, (laughs) (laughs) those brave souls that went on on a limb like there's there's just all this backstory about how how we got to that thing so like the the justice league movie was originally going to be two movies Uh and depending on who you listen to now like it was either going to be one it was going to be two two two-hour movies or now it's going to be like two four-hour movies we're, we're never getting this Justice League part two, but like, again, going back to the, let's make remake bad movies. Like this is, this is the remake. This is, this is the remake you've always talked about. Like you, pe- people are always just like, I don't know if you should remake RoboCop, but if you had the opportunity to like take the entire cast, use all the footage, kind of just like. Oh, and the studio banks rolls, bank rolls you too. Well, this <laughs> someone has to bankroll it. Cause look, this, this, you've got Blade Runner. And that Uh thing has like four or five different cuts, okay? You've got Highlander 2, which has like three or four different cuts, okay? It's, they've always tried to make it the movie it wanted to be. It's all labors of love and whatnot. But this thing just, it's, it's something different, man. Like I can't, it's haunting me in my sleep. I I I can't absorb enough information on it. I don't really want to see the movie again, but I'm fascinated with the story of how it is now a thing. Again, it, it wasn't going to be a thing. It didn't exist. It was the, the, the quote unquote Snyder cut before three, two weeks ago. It was literally just unfinished. Like special effects weren't done. There wasn't a, a credits, even, you know, music wasn't complete. There was placeholders, mm-hmm. you know, there's a little title card that says footage not here yet. <laughs> that this was the Snyder lo- cut. This gets lumped in with how the fans quote unquote also, changed the sonic movie okay like, yeah, 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 yeah this is this That's is a good happening example. where it, you know if people are gonna speak up like again twitter warriors i have disdain but at the same time like this shit just happened in front of our eyes <laughs> like mm-hmm. 
I'm surprised because we came from a place. I mean, just wondering, like, what Firefly go away and things can be wished, nay, clapped back into existence Mm -hmm. via fandom. And I'm I I have not seen the original Justice League. I may not watch this one. I don't really care for where they're going. But at the same time, I'm in awe that studios are listening at this level. It's impressive. It well, is. Again, you, you still have so many variables. Like COVID was a thing this year, so like the studios were halted. They're like, we have to, we have to make something. Okay, we we can't just not make anything. So like, this is a thing now. It's almost finished. Let's let's just put a little, throw a couple hundred bucks into it, and it'll be fine. Mm. We we got this new platform we're debuting. Eyeballs will be on it. Like. It's this very fantastic, perfect storm. Kai, name a movie ten years ago that was bad. Just any uh, any I of mean, them. It doesn't matter. Just one. Mediocre, even. They fall out of they fall out of your memory. Like, why would I hang on to bad movies? Kush. Fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. It's it's twenty it's twenty eleven. Twenty eleven. Think of a movie. Twenty eleven. Uh, let's see. Uh, what came? What even came? What was? Uh, pull, pull up the IMDb. You got that shit in front of you, baby. Okay. 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 Can I? Can I? Can please. I? Please. If, if, and we have done this on Kush and Kai. If someone with capable hands could redo the Justin Timberlake vehicle in time. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. So that's a great example. Here's, here's, here's why you won't, if you ever did get a remake of in time, you won't get the same thing as the Snyder cut. So here's what's up. We're talking 11 years ago. Justin Timberlake is 11 years older. I, I, I guess we got the de-aging software now. So it's possible, but it's highly unlikely that anyone wants to revisit that project, even to refilm like five minutes of footage, which is, which is apparently need, what was done for this movie. We didn't need Timberlake in that to begin with, unless yeah. unless we go back and now he's singing and dancing in this version. I could go for a oh musical in time. Could I know it's not your bag, but I could go for a singing and dancing in time. You know, Akai, I would be right there next to you. I'd be like, yeah, I this is ha- would, this, this uh, is this happening? This is happening. Let's do this. I would this. watch the shit out of that yeah. movie where there's musical numbers yeah. for no reason because there's a lot of that movie that doesn't make a lot of sense. So mm-hmm. why not sing and dance? I would mm-hmm. they would make it more watchable. Mm-hmm. Also, then, 2011, uh very, very prescient Green Lantern came out that year. <laughs> they've been trying to remake that forever. I don't know. I, uh, or, I or, heard I heard. Snyder was denied um, a Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern cameo in that because they want to redo Green Lantern. Mm. And I think the actor is going to be black. So they're like, we got to keep that one off the table. But that would have been awesome. I mean, I might have watched it just for that. (laughs) I understand Zack Snyder didn't collect a cent on this and did it did that solely for 100 percent creative control. So I I don't believe that. I don't believe HBO said you can't have Ryan Reynolds be in this movie as anything. Having said that, though, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> again, the, the end time remake, dude, wouldn't. Yeah, you, you wouldn't have Justin Timberlake and that that other other lovely young lady who goes, forget it, forgetful. Um, who would be in the end time movie in twenty twenty two, Kai? Real quickly. It doesn't have I, to be a pop I mean, star, but just okay. Look, no, we're gonna go with Timothy Timothy Chalamet. He's Why not? he's gonna he's gonna headline this thing. I don't know the young lady, but gosh, um, can we get Zendaya in there? Okay, yep, yep. No, I again, we're we're yes. we're throwing we're throwing bombs here. Like we would watch this. There, there's watch a little the more racial. There's a racial bent on this one. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you, you could do some more stuff with that mm. uh, other than just the lily whites that are uh, that are endangered. I, you, you could change it up. You could change it up. Watch the shit out of that. I would watch <laughs> Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya Woo! in End Time. Woo! And then Justin Timberlake shows up for a musical number. He's he maybe he's definitely he plays- on the soundtrack. Maybe he plays one of those guys at the casino that's like, we control all of the things. I mean, yeah, that, that I would watch. You would, have okay. to, you would have to insist that he does a cameo, but I'm not going to hold my breath because he is JT. 
So he is JT. I, I, we can't, you can't bottle him. You can't control him. I don't, I don't presume to understand his, his schedule. That's and don't, me. don't try. Anyway, but guys, that, that was, uh, that was Snyder Watch. Thanks for joining us. I mean, he has proposed not just the sequel, but he had laid out two other movies that were coming after that. One of them, I read some tidbits about where the new Batman was Superman and Lois's kid who doesn't have any powers. Uh, just throwing it out here, Kai. You, you're just hearing this out of context. Lois Lane wakes up in the middle of the night in, alone in her bed. Superman is dead still in, the, in this scene. She looks uh, uh, on her end table. There's an EPT test. And oh. she, she just walks into the bathroom. End Boom. of context. Boom. Flash all the way into the movie. Hey, there Batman, thanks for buying my mom's farm. Appreciate it. We love you. Uh, Lois and Ma Kent are carrying a, a bassinet into the Ooh. house. Ooh. And you're like, so she's pregnant? Yeah. But, but Superman's, but how long has Superman been dead? Like, yeah, she, let's... It, it, I, I think like, I, I was positive. This, <laughs> someone said, like, it's been a year since Superman died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's the happening? Flash is like, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's, there's, there's yeah, yeah. still question marks in the Snyder cut, but question marks. Question well, uh, marks, one more thing, marks. dude. Like people are saying, this is good compared to the 2017 version, but no one really liked the 2017 version. And if there wasn't jo a Joss Whedon and there wasn't a tragedy in Zack Snyder's family, like th this movie wouldn't have been four hours. Like at best three hours okay <laughs> oh uh, at best three hours at best three hours for Zack snyder but that would be a completely different movie on its own you get what i'm saying like this right. is i'm like dr strange here man i'm seeing like 14 million possibilities here <laughs> like like what's going on dude? well you've been thrust into this situation too where you i mean we were both saying like well that's not gonna happen and then it does and then mm. they do like we just have to deal with reality on reality's terms, Kush. You're just coping. I, I mean, understand. Like it's it's a lot. Bill and Ted three is a thing now, Kai. Oh, Coming boy. to America two happened. We're 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 on the cusp of a Space Jam two. Oh uh, gosh. There's there there are no rules anymore, dude. No, <laughs> there are no rules. No, you can just read. Speaking of no rules, man. The Black Widow movie is now coming to Disney Plus. It'll still oh. have a theatrical engagement, but you'll have the privilege of paying an extra thirty dollars to see it on uh, July 9th. Oh, good stuff! Th this was not going to happen. We went on the lamb with uh, Raya and the Last Dragon, and uh, hmm. listen, Vietnamese Mulan was pretty good. <laughs> uh, I was, we, you know, it was. They did. They did a pretty good job for what you would expect a Disney movie to be like, mm -hmm. you know, it was the, the kids were entertained. So mission accomplished, like it, you know, right. it was good. Aquafina, eh, a little rough as the dragon. Again, your only comparison is Eddie Murphy. So that Aquafina doing a lot of wacky stuff and just talking. Yeah. It, it doesn't, it's mm -hmm. not, it's That's not funny. any, yeah, That's your it, thing. That's your it's thing. not even her. I'm just, yeah, it's a, uh, it's it's a tough role to land because you're creating an imaginary character. She tries, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, overall movie great. Um, I, I want to see yeah, more no. dramatic Aquafina. I, I don't want to yeah. see comedy Aquafina. I like dramatic Aquafina. Dramatic, <laughs> yeah, it's good times. All right, um, let's all right. Let, let's move on from uh, some of the remake talk to other remake talk. I just wanted to bring this up. I read this little tasty tidbit because this was real big in my rearview mirror about growing up. The director, was it Chris Columbus of Missed Outfire? Says that sounds right. There is an R-rated version of Missed Outfire out there. There can along be. with two other cuts. Two other cuts. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, it's not I, why not? I would listen, we're what? It was in 93, so we're coming up mm -hmm. on the 30th. Like, Please release those. I would love to see them. Are you kidding me? See, this is I the would world we're in that. now. So, like again, earlier I brought up, uh, I brought up a Blade Runner. I brought up Highlander Two. These were things that needed extra money to have physical copies, if not put in the theater, put in your local Tower Records or yep. your Barnes and Noble. It's in that bin that you're flapping by the thing uh, on the DVD ring. For sure. Yeah, for sure. That after that first year, and then it then it becomes a, a cult classic thing. Like only five million copies were made, bro. 
Oh, um, <laughs> it's exclusive. Oh my god, I would love it. I, I mean, I would recognize every frame mm -hmm. that is different. Uh, now, I, I would, I mean, like a hawk. I would be like, oh, that's new, that's new. Like, I, I would welcome these things. And mm -hmm. do I need? Do we need? Do I need to get a Twitter campaign started to just you're not even making new stuff with mm -hmm. Zack Snyder. You're just releasing something that's sitting in a vault. Just do the process copy and then print it to mm -hmm. a streaming service like please. The streaming service now is is the ultimate X factor like it costs nothing to distribute now. Okay, nothing. you already own the platform. You just you just put it on there, okay? So I think it's a Fox. I think Mrs. Doubtfighter is a Fox film. I think so it's 20th I, Century, yeah. So I, I I don't see Disney putting that on the D plus. Maybe Hulu. Let's just say everyone entertains the idea of the R rated Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm a hundred percent sure there's footage of Robin Williams dressed as Mrs. Doubtfire, just freelancing, just just ad libbing yes. the shit out of everything, yeah. dropping f bombs. Yeah. There's uh, some whatever. racial stuff that's a little weird absolutely. now. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I, 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 there's some there's some uh, f bombs, and it's like, please with the with the right that? editor, and Chris Columbus oh. will have the right editor, and he you, co that will cost nothing to edit, nothing, nothing for I, them to edit. Okay, I, again, I miss Robin, and this is just one of those small ways that you could visit a miracle upon us, where it's like, you he just said. That exists. Give it. Give that to us, please. <laughs> well, I still want to see um, kid from that '70s show. To gr to gr oh, to Topher Grace. Yeah, Topher Grace. Is it Topher Grace? Yeah, Topher Grace. Someone was, who looks like Topher Ocean's, Grace. He was took, in Ocean's took, Eleven. Took the, and then... took the Star Wars uh, uh, prequel trilogy and made it one movie. Just oh, one, yeah. one two-hour movie. The Phantom Edit. Yeah, no, I saw that. That was brilliant. Did I you? Have to say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. I watched it on YouTube in the early days. And uh, yeah, so, no, so I was like, well, they did a good job. I'm going to, I'm going to question that. So I've seen a quote unquote Phantom Edit on YouTube, but the, the whole myth is, is homeboy, homeboy edited the movie and then he showed it to his friends and then never released it whatsoever. Like I, I'm, I would, uh, I would definitely go there. Okay. Can I throw something else at you that I'm looking forward Please. to coming up? And again, it's just rumors and people are talking. Jamie Foxx with Antoine Fukua directing and Scorsese looking over his shoulder. They're going to do a Mike Tyson. And I'm like, yeah, that this guy. Is... I mean, that guy has some stories. And I think this could be really cool. I, it, it, I mean, I j just the idea like this gentleman was so good that he didn't even have corner people. He just sort of had his posse there. Like he didn't have a cut man. Like he was bleeding and like he would go over it. Like they didn't even have towels or shit. Like there's there's clips of him where where he would go over after rounds, just go knock the guy out, and then they would go out clubbing afterward. And I would like to get inside that. I want to say this was a thing just before the COVID. Okay, because this is not news to me. For some reason, this is cut this spike today, yeah. and I believe it's because it's now being a mini series. Yes, this was going to be a movie with Dick. all the all those players you just named. Mm -hmm. and that also sounds exciting. Jamie Fox is kind of old to be playing Mike Tyson at eighteen. I'm just going to throw that out there. Otherwise, I think he's going to kill it. You know, I didn't think about that, but I mean. <laughs> Maybe they're going to de-age, but... They can, that's always a possibility, too, now. Like, never take that out of the equation. Jamie especially... Foxx is a chameleon, so I'm not putting it... I'm not putting it by anybody, because, like, mm -hmm. you know, if he puts his mind we to don't, it... We like, don't know what oh, part of of Mike Tyson's life it's going to be. I guess it's a series now, but, like, I, I can totally see them just doing a, a young Mike Tyson, and then the, the main focus is this one particular life of Tyson's tragedy. For sure. Gosh, yeah, that guy has seen some shit. But mm -hmm. uh, now I, uh, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, I, I would love to dig into those things. Tyson's um, life can be several different things, my man. Tyson's life can be a coming, coming up from rags to riches story, a sports movie. It is. It'll be a law drama. 
It is. It'll be a prison movie. It is. It'll be a faith based. Uh, this is, I made a mistake and now this is what I, it'll be a comeback story. Oh, yeah. Big ups to, to, to Jizu. I mean, it's all of these things. This is why it's like, oh, no, I want to see that director like interact with all these things because I, and, there's any so one much... of those you can squeeze three hours out of. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's a it's a rich tapestry. So I, I trust all of those people involved. And I'm like, yes. Uh, yeah. Let's let's uh, let's dig in there. Gosh, would you like to jump into a pick a pitch, sir? No. Yes. Ah! Previously on pick a pitch. Yep. It's I'm going with Bill Murray and the Bad News Bears. We would watch that. I would watch like, that. I, I don't want to change anything about it. I don't think I want the uh, a Wes Anderson directing it. Just okay. Give that guy the night off. But like, have Ryan Gould. Yeah. Go, oh God. Do, oh. do the remake to Bad News Bears. Like. Oh, shot to the heart. Ryan Coogler is directing a Bad News Bears with Bill Murray. I will amazing. camp out outside the theater for that. God damn. Like, we're going back to Water Mouth Out. He's drinking. He's giving kids beers. He's swearing. And bombs are flying. Okay, this is this is going to be the, the un-PC hit of 2022. Oh, God. It's going to be I... on the HBO Max. It'll be released in theaters, too. People want to risk COVID. With that double is, masks, just I, to see I, this. I agree with your opinion, and I think that is the correct one. All right, Kush, are you ready? These are dog remakes. What? Ooh, what? Did you hear me? Okay. These are animated movies that animated. we may be remaking in live action. Animated okay. dog films okay. are coming back to life. Sure. Listen, Disney, you're doing it all over the place, so maybe it's coming to a streaming service near you. Okay. We have three entries for you today, Please. which you must pick from. The first is All Dogs Go to Heaven. I knew that was coming. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where heaven is Mormon heaven, oh. and there's a waiting period because the dogs must convert. Oh, fuck. All dogs go to Mormon heaven. That it's not in the title. That is what they must do. And then they must return and convert other dogs. We don't know how that happens, but that's for them to decide. Okay. That's number one. Mm. Number two. Pretty simple. Lady and the Tramp. We're doing a full live action-y thing. I don't know if we can get the dogs to do it. It's probably going to be one of those CGI, like, oh, it looks a little weird. But, but, but one of them dies at the end. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, ooh, Snyder. Lady in the Tramp. One of them dies or is put down at the end. Lady in the Snyder Cut. Yep. That's number two. Number three. Balto. Are you familiar with this picture? I know of it. I literally am picturing the 20th Century you, Fox Family you, Selections clamshell. You I know nothing about it. You can see the poster. This see the is po about a, it's a Russian hero. dog, right? This was actually, yeah, this was an actual hero dog that they made a movie about. It was like 1923, Alaska. There's a, a snowstorm. This dog like pulls the sled in front to deliver medicine to a camp. Mm -hmm. However, this one has the rock. He's delivering medicine. However, fuck yeah, he's a vampire. Oh. Every place they stop, he must feed. <laughs> okay, so all dogs go to heaven, Mormon heaven, Lady in the Tramp, and one of them dies, Balto, and the Vampire Rock. How do you choose, Kush? Well, Kai, it's like this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break down my selection. I'm going to tell you why I, why I chose this one movie and why I didn't choose the other two. All dogs go to heaven. I knew it was coming. And I want, like, I want to get the Don Bluth estate involved, but of course, we we have a policy here at the Bosnet family: no religion, no politics. So that's out. Yeah, it's gone. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No Mormon heaven. Nope. Sorry, Mormon. Lady and the Tramp. We just had the remake. However, oh, <laughs> like I said, the I Snyder Cut. That? That <laughs> One of them <laughs> dies. This is a tragedy. Uh, there's Woo! there's gonna be a dog. There's gonna be a dog pack fight in You're an alley. Right. Uh, look, no. I, I don't yep. want it. I'm not interested. Um, Alto, star in the rock. Now we're talking, my man. So, 
it's mostly night. I mean, it's in Alaska, right? Like the sun doesn't come out. He's going town to town. <laughs> Balto is is the vampire dog. No, no, no. The Rock is a vampire. The Rock is a vampire, and the Balto a vampire. has to has to somehow defeat the Rock. I think that's involved because he's delivering medicine, but he also knows his owner is a vampire. Dogs can smell that. Did you know that? I can dig that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they, if you can smell a Terminator, you can smell a vampire. That's For just sure. that's just basic math. I mean, you're smelling a dead body walking at you. The dog's gonna freak out. I get yeah, it. For I, sure. I'm in. For sure. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Kai, does does do we hear a narrative from our dog? Is is Balt? Does Balto get a voiceover? Matthew Broderick voices the, the that dude. We're monologue. getting Patrick Warburton. Son, God damn it! That is so good, Patrick. If you're listening. You're going to voice Balto. You're going to fight The Rock. This is happening. Anchorage 2022. Be there. Be square. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing. We're, we're going to get heavy publicity in Russia. It's going to give you a crossover to China. It's going to we're going to make so much money in China. Kai. It's going to mm-hmm. make Disney jealous. They're going to be like, what the fuck, son? They're going to oh, hire us for their next 10 projects on this. Oh, one, man. Homie. All right, that's that's and that's the dream. That's where the real money is, player. But Balto, oh, yeah. Balto, not only is Balto going to conquer China, the hearts of China, it's it's gonna the world here, the United States especially is going to love it. Canada is going to go crazy for it. It's going to get played at drive-ins. It's going to be played on the sides of buildings during the next blackout or pandemic or something that involves a generator and and yeah. can't get Wi-Fi like. Balto versus The Rock yeah. is going to become an instant classic. They're going to play it during holidays. It will bring us together, I believe. It may heal part of the world. I don't feel like I'm overstating that. Pick a pitch. That's Damn, it. thanks for playing Pick a Pitch, Kush. And... I really didn't want to make that last one just sort of the de facto choice. But when I thought of it, I'm like, well, I got to just throw that one up there. Well, Kai, you're always really good about like, you know, it's going to start this person and that person. And, you know, like you know, this was the right choice. Balto. We can always uh, examine uh, the, the 20s in Alaska, Iditarod conditions, the rock, vampires, etc. We are we are there. Did you know, moving on real quick, hmm. uh, Shat- William Shatner had his 90th birthday. Hmm. He's creating an AI version of himself for future generations. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I would want him to show up at, at on like a hollow projector at my children's birthday party just to weird them out because they have no fucking idea who William Shatner is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't want AI Shatner. I, I do want, I do want CGI Shatner. I want top of the line CGI deep fake Shatner to come in. But I don't want AI Shatner. But I suppose yeah. you can't have one without the other now, can you? They're they're there. I mean, we haven't really found a practical use for holograms other than appearing on stage yet. So mm-hmm. and Universal what... Studio tours rides. Yeah, for sure. But I yeah I. I get, but I guess we would expect all of the actors to start doing these kinds of things. I've I've like, understood for for at least the last half a decade, like there are clauses in contracts about whether or not you can use my likeness in this specific time period for a future project, whether I'm alive or dead. I understand that's a thing being negotiated now. I mean, we all know that like Harrison Ford has been scoped in that, you know, 3D machine. Mm -hmm. We've captured his voice and likeness. Like he's ready. His estate knows that like this Star Wars machine may need to use me again. So let me just bank this one. Like that exists. I swear that exists. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. It's it's coming. And again, not everyone is comfortable with it. It still doesn't look 100% good. I remember during Star Wars Rogue One, a big controversy was Peter Cushing being on screen. Yeah. And, and again, it was it was the Alamo Draft House. It was 3D. 
I was at a weird angle. So like when I saw it first, it it didn't, and you know, it doesn't look great. (laughs) I've seen it now on my beautiful 4k TV. I'm like, Oh yeah, that looks like a PlayStation game. That doesn't look right. It looks like a full motion video thing where you're like, it doesn't look right. We've hit the uncanny Valley. We're in there right now. And I don't know where it goes because yeah, I, there's I a know. YouTube channel called uh, the Corridor Crew, and there, there's a bunch Ooh. of uh, visual effects artists out of uh, Southern California, and they're always <laughs> doing like deep fakes. So they they did a Tom Cruise thing, and that was when they didn't know much about it. And they're like, "Well, let's try this guy, and let's try this guy. Let's try Will Smith now." And then oh. guess what? Will Smith was actually there too, but but they they superimposed Will Smith on top of Will Smith and. It was very noticeable. Wow. Well, listen, I mean, Gemini Man's going to blow their fucking minds. <laughs> Gemini Man was fun. I enjoyed seeing that on the big screen, on the Dolby screen in 3D in 60 FPS. Real Wait, quick, last... they, they made a funny anecdote about the Gemini Man. Ang Lee had spent so much time on the Gemini Man, he could have filmed Will Smith's younger part and uh, then revisited it 18 years yes. later and filmed his older counterpart. Yeah, boyhood the the Smith. That mm-hmm. is that's what that's what they should be doing. <clears throat> hey, Kush. Hey, Kush. Buddy. Well, uh yeah, thanks for running down those news stories. This is exciting that we've done another 99 things together. That's mm-hmm. fucking crazy, sir. It's Thank a little over. So it's 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 de- you and I have definitely done over 100 things. Why yeah. we're at 99, it's eh, whatever. Um, Whatever, but yeah, one hundred. There, there will still be a microdose going forward. There will still be cushion Kai's doing microdoses. It, it'll just be on a, on the on the on the current RSS feed. That's all. I'm just trying to bring balance to the universe. Kids, listen to the future cushion Kai fifty five, and you'll understand a little bit why there was a big a big gap in our recording sessions. And then, obviously, things are great between us. You'll hear some 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 intimate details. Dig. Yeah, I mean, that's a plug. Yeah, I, I'm not perfect. I'll admit that. And Nor am I. Uh, I just, Nor am I, buddy. I just, I just offer all my apologies to Kush. He's been Kush is the best guy that you yeah. want to do a podcast with, and uh, I appreciate him. And uh, I hope all of you do as well. I make apologies too, player. Guess what? Let's let's do some extra plugs. Kush and Kai. Check out the episode of The Punisher. Oh, I have a huge gosh. feeling we talk about the original Justice League in that. Just so, for that opening. I want to talk about the 44th floor of Australia. I mean, because mm. it's out there somewhere. And people great. are on it. That oh. was a good That was a good oh, time. That was good. That was good times. Mm. Shit. Well, uh, I don't have any other, uh, any other pieces or deets, but uh, it's been good chatting with you, buddy. It's been great chatting with you two player. I mean, I can talk about the Snyder cut for another 20 minutes if you're game, but let's, you know what? Let's, let's spare everybody again. Let's quit while we're ahead here. I agree. I agree. So folks, I don't know when we're releasing this exactly, but just for shits and giggles, check out sweet science cinema with uh, Jamil Hemphill and myself. We're uh, as of right now, we're talking the great white hype. You can also check out me and director Len Kabazinski. And we, as of right now, we are talking Blood Fist 3, Force to Fight. Yes, check that That's out. That's actually coming out in a couple of weeks. But you know what? It, it'll be a thing. You're going to love it. I promise you. Oh, it's going to be good times. Kush and Kai, don't forget us. We're, at, as of right now, you can check out The Man Who Fell to Earth. But as it has been teased, Cobra Kai Season 3 on the horizon. <laughs> Kai. <laughs> Right now, I mean, just look at your calendar. We'll, we'll do this on the air. When do you want to release Cobra Kai season three? I I know I don't I don't have anything slated. Mm, yeah. Like yeah. this is the collaborative part, buddy. Like look at your calendar right now and go. Okay, April twentieth is hilarious. I think we should do that. Okay, April twentieth. It's a solid Tuesday. All right, April twentieth, Cushion Kai fifty four, Cobra Kai season three. Yes. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I've been Kai. I've been Kush.
from the Bosnet family. You proclaim that these would not happen. They're happening.